Hello world and welcome to part three of improving life and feeling better. Alright, to start off today's episode, I just wanted to say let's all look for friends. Because honestly, yeah, you should be independent. You should figure out how to do this on your own, but most people can. Because honestly, it's easier. In the beginning, it's a lot easier to do this if you could find some supportive friends. So I want you guys to go out there. I don't care if it's online. You could join an online like group or something. Some kind of blog, something like that. Just a Facebook group. Whatever it may be. Find some supportive friends who understand what's going on and ask them for help. They will support you. I personally will support you. Like You could contact me directly. I will let you vent to me, whatever it may be. Keep in mind, I don't consider anyone who subscribes to me, anyone who views me as a fan. To me, you are all my friends. So if you need my help, I am your friend. I will be there to help you whenever I can. So if you've got an issue, you can contact me, whether it be on Twitter or something else. You can contact me. Don't hesitate. If you're about to commit suicide, yeah, definitely contact me. Don't hesitate. I will help you through it. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. I don't want to see anyone die. That's why I'm making these videos to help you guys feel better about yourselves, to help you guys improve your lives, to be happy instead of sad, mopey, depressed, anything else that could be negative. I'm eventually going to try to figure out how to help you guys with anxiety, whatever it may be. I'll even give you guys tips to stop being bored if I have to. But yeah, step one for today, find some supportive friends, please. Now, the second thing is, I want you guys to think about this. Sure, we're not all gamers, but those of you who are, understand this. When you're playing video games, the entire world is invisible. When you're playing video games, you are so happy that you can't believe it. You completely ignore anything else that's happening, usually. So I want all of you, whenever you're depressed, try to find a video game you like and play it whenever you're upset or angry or anxious, whatever it may be. Whether it's on your phone, on a console, computer, whatever it may be, just please try out some video games. My personal favorite is pretty much anything involving One Piece because I love the anime. It's my favorite anime out there. Alright, so the third thing for today, I want you guys to try on some clothes. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Here's how this works. When you're trying on clothes, it distracts you, but it also makes you happy. You love to see yourself in new outfits. So when you're gonna try on clothes, you could try on old clothing, you can go shopping for new clothing. All you girls definitely understand what I mean when I say go shopping for new clothing. You love to go into that dressing room, you love to get dressed and see how it looks on you. Pick out a pretty dress, find, like honestly, girls, just pick out a pretty dress. <laughs> Guys, for you, a nice new pair of jeans, some new sneakers, a flat shirt, you'll be happy, right? Get a new chain if you have to but just try on something. Now, the fourth thing for today is tea, not coffee. A lot of you drink coffee throughout the day, whether it's to wake up, because you need energy, whatever it may be. But you've got to realize coffee actually does make you depressed. I don't care if there's any scientific proof behind what I'm saying, it actually does. Because if you think about it, Coffee gives you energy, but once the energy runs out, what happens? You look like this. So, tea gives you energy, but it gives you it in small bursts, and it lasts throughout the day. Because tea boosts your metabolism, while coffee just it completely blows it up. So, yeah, tea is definitely a lot healthier for you, too. So, basically, drink tea instead of coffee whenever you get the chance, please it will improve your life greatly. Now this last one is, <laughs> it's kinda silly, you're gonna probably think I'm joking about this. Every time you're upset, angry, whatever it may be, 
I want you to hold your arm straight up like this, just like this, for about a minute. Because the way that works is you're going to feel so weird and awkward that you're going to completely forget why you were upset in the first place. So it's not exactly a fix, but it's a quick distraction and it does lead to you ignoring what pissed you off or depressed you in the first place. So temporarily that is a pretty decent fix. So yeah, that's it for this week guys. I'll see you guys next week with part four. <laughs> yeah, we're reaching that point. Part four of improving life and feeling better. Goodbye world.